Tonight, the suspected gunman in the Bronx shooting that put two children in the line of fire is in custody. CBS 2's Kieran Dillon live tonight in the Mount Eden section of the Bronx with more on that. Kieran? Dana and Jessica, officers just walked the suspect out of the 44th precinct here in the Bronx a short while ago. Police have identified him as 27 year old Michael Lopez. He's now facing a slew of charges. Michael Lopez held his head up as he was escorted by detectives out of the 44th precinct in the Bronx. Sources tell us the 27 year old has a gang affiliation and is well known to police with a lengthy previous rap sheet. He has five prior arrests. He's on parole for an attempted murder. Well, we know he's a gang member, and that's some, one of the things we are looking into. And the investigation is still early, but he's a gang member with a gun on parole. The NYPD announced the arrest at a press conference late Friday. This after surveillance video shows a suspect blast bullets at a 24-year-old man in the Mount Eden neighborhood last Thursday evening. Two children who were walking nearby were caught in the commotion. In the video, you can see the 13-year-old girl Mia grab her 5-year-old brother Christian to shield him. The images of a 15, I mean 13-year-old girl shielding her 5-year-old brother from bullets fired by a gunman in broad daylight on a Thursday afternoon. That heart-wrenching video was seen around the world. Sources say Lopez has a gang affiliation to the Make It Happen Boys. He has five prior arrests, including one for attempted murder. He now faces multiple counts of attempted murder, assault, criminal use of a firearm, and reckless endangerment related to this case. People who live in the neighborhood are thrilled with the arrest. Feel safe. Kids is sacred. They shouldn't have to go through that. I'm glad they caught him. That's all I can say. I'm glad they caught him. Meanwhile, police say the 24-year-old male victim made his own way to the hospital in stable condition. Earlier this week, we heard from the parents of the children. They were not seriously injured, but parents Diana and Christian say they remain frightened. The father tells us his son has bruises everywhere and is traumatized. He doesn't sleep and noise scares him. His daughter is also sleeping next to him. So police say they are still looking for a male accomplice in connection to this case. Anyone with information is asked to call them. We're live tonight in the Mount Eden section of the Bronx. Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News. All right, Kieran, thank you.